years, we've seen mainstream national television tell the public that lithium in the water to brain damage you is good. And that if it makes one person not commit suicide, we need to do it. We've seen federally financed studies come out and say that mercury is good for your children's brains. When, of course, literally tens of thousands of studies in the last hundred years show it's one of the most deadly heavy metals and just literally burns through the brain. It doesn't just kill a few brain cells and then deposit out. It keeps burning. In the uh, electron microscope videos that we've posted for major universities, it's the only heavy metal that causes electrochemical explosions in the brains. Kind of similar to the movie Alien, when the acid, the blood of the alien burns through four or five levels of the ship. That's what mercury does. But they say it's nutritious and good. They say it's wonderful for you. They have TV newscasts where they now say things like, oh, we want poison in the toys from China. It's good for our economy. China just had another big melamine scare, more people getting sick. Uh, melamine was found in 90% of baby formula in the U.S. The, uh, from U.S. factories. And instead of them taking the melamine out, they just said melamine is no longer bad for you. Mercury is no longer bad. Melamine's no longer bad. Lead is no longer bad. Jumping off a cliff, I guess, is no longer bad, according to the government. And now I have Fox News. This is coming up after calls in my stack. Give me a close shot for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers. Can cell phones cure Alzheimer's? And it says cell phones are good for your brain. Yes, it's radiating your brain, but it's good for you. Cell phones are good. Body scanners are good. Mercury is good for your brain. Pretty soon they'll say shooting yourself in the head with a 12-gauge shotgun is good for you. Folks, if they start saying that, don't try it. It will kill you. They are practicing insanity, practicing lying to get you conditioned to accept it. That's how they claim they killed Khalid Sheikh Mohammed more than 10 times before they captured him. Then they held him for seven years. He confessed to bombing buildings that weren't built for close to four years after he was arrested. That's like confessing to singing the Titanic before he was born. But the media still says, never retracted, he was killed all those times, and he was captured, and he's confessed to bombing buildings that didn't exist. And they did this over and over again with Chemical Ali and all of them to just set the precedent of doing whatever they want. Because they know the general public is passively watching TV, passively reading the newspaper headlines, and just hear a guy tried to blow up a plane again. Oh, this guy confessed. Oh, they're going to put him on trial. Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, after seven years of incarceration and admitted torture. Folks, if they grab me for a year and then roll me out on TV saying I committed murders or bombings and they admit I was tortured or you were tortured, it's not admissible. And all Americans knew in the war with North Korea, hundreds and hundreds of pilots got shot down. And after a couple years of captivity, the North Koreans would release on worldwide television through the Soviets, through the Chinese and Russians, film footage of our airmen saying, I am a war criminal. I was told to target women and children. I was told to target civilian bases, which wasn't true in the Korean War. And they would, you know, the famous cases of blinking Morse code, that's not just a Hollywood movie. They blinked Morse code saying torture, 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 torture. Same thing in Vietnam. They'd roll our troops out after years of torture. They would confess to anything. Americans knew. A country that tortures, you don't believe anyone they bring up on trial. What happened to us? How did we turn into demons? Well, we didn't turn into demons. The government said we like torture, said we like torture of children in front of their parents, try to sell us on it.